Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be going through how to create a color table in Power BI and link it to the VCAT custom visual. Uh, in particular, we'll link it to uh, an external entity, but this can be done with types and more or less any data. We will be using the report downloaded from bimservices.it, in particular assets and spaces. So here, if we go into transform data, we can see we have a color table where basically we have a list of uh, indexes with uh, some colors next to them. Of course, these can all be updated uh, to service your needs. And also we have a custom function. The function will be used to assign uh, a color from the color table to uh, an index that we will be giving it. So basically we take the index and, and we get the, the related color in the color table. So now, uh, for example, we'll take the assets table and the external uh, entity. So we want to assign a color to it. So we do uh, add new query after selecting the column. So now we right click, we turn it to a table Perfect. So now we want to, uh, of course, remove all the duplicates because we're interested in just the distinct values. Now we go to add column and uh, we can add an index column. <clears throat> this will give us a list of uh, numbers. And now we can invoke our custom function. So we get the color function and we add it. And, and right now we have the column with the list of colors for our external entities. Now let's rename this table to something that we can use. Say color type. Uh, we'll move it here just for order. And now we go back to our assets table. Now from here, what we want to do is add the information from our new uh, table. So we go to home and then merge queries. And from here, we can first select the table we want to merge. So color type, uh, select the column and the uh, relative column in our assets table. Click OK, and here we have the merge data. So basically, we, we've added the color table. Now of this table, we only are interested in one column, so we can remove them and add the color column. like so. So now we have the uh, link between the asset, uh, assets, uh, external entities, and the colors. Let's rename this uh, column. And now we can close. Save the changes. Now Power BI will have to uh, update all the data and the queries uh, in order to be able to compute the information we need from it. We just give it a minute, <clears throat> and now everything refreshes. Now we select the custom visual. We go here, and we want to make sure that we have the show theme color option enabled. This will give us the drop down menu on the top left. Now from the asset table, we want to get our new uh, column and add it here in the highlight color section. At this point, we have the new theme loaded in the custom visual. So we can select it and we can see that everything gets colored. Now, if we want to uh, view the color also in this table, we can add a new column to the visual. So basically, we take our column and add it like we would normally in Power BI. And here we have the list of the colors. Now we go to the form conditional formatting and we can change the background color. There, from here, we can tell it to use the field value. So basically we'll be using the value in the field to color the background. And we'll do the same thing for the font color in order that we can only see the actual color. We're not interested in the uh, code. So at this point, we've also added the color to our data set. 
connected to the uh, asset external entity. Of course, as always in, in uh, VCAT, it's all filterable. So we can see that if we select a, a different asset external entity, we only see the elements of that type and colored with the color that we have assigned to that external entity. Thank you very much for watching.